us at the bar, please. Welcome to Tavern Tales, a curated 5e Dungeons & Dragons adventure set in the tales of the Yawning Portal campaign module by Wizards of the Coast. Previously on Tavern Tales, the tunnel to the next level appears to be more dangerous than the party expects. With the sudden disappearance of Maryland Jane, will they be able to save her in time? Come sit down and drink with the enemy, raise a glass and toast to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So come sit down and laugh with the enemy, raise a glass and sing to the enemy, and I'm not gonna do this on my own. So I won't end up being alone, cause I won't drink my drink alone. So what about you? One beer or two, I'll drink to you. You have succeeded at the constitution saving throw, so you only take five poison damage. You are not paralyzed. Why, what? Can't you just say necrotic damage? No. It's going to be poison damage. <laughs> yeah, because that's like not a thing. But apparently it is, because it's on my character sheet that I, I have resistance to it. I know. <laughs> not today. Is that from the start or from that's the a, I think it's a, uh, no, it's a racial feature. Hmm. I oh. have it too. You have resistance to necrotic damage as well? Yeah, necrotic and radiance. Hmm. I think that has to do with, well, maybe that's your race as well. I don't know. It's probably your race. You're very aware. A spider, a large spider as big around as this thing has scuttled forward and bitten you, shocking you. You remain in the cave. You don't fall. That'd be really cool, though, if I had to make you make a saving throw, because that's just even more checks to hope you fail. Anyway, you don't. What do you say? What do you do? Yeah, spiders. <laughs> Florida man. Yes. Texas Walker has decided that you are moving too slowly for a party member that dropped their torch and didn't say anything and has made his way around you. He has gone out of sight. Suddenly he disappears. And then he says, Yeah, spiders. <laughs> <laughs> it's funnier the second time. <laughs> Yeah. That's how Aaron does Kegels, actually, too. Yeah. 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 Oh, spiders. Yeah, spiders. A lot of Kegel-related jokes in this I house. I don't know I like why that today. is. I just constantly. I love it. Yeah. I think it's because Allison is pregnant, and that was one of the biggest things I remember from your pregnancy was like, make sure you do your do Kegels. Kegels. It's accurate, Take though. your vitamins, do your Kegels. That's yeah, I know. two things. Those are the two I things. Know. You don't need anything else. Oh, God, don't I read did, any books. Just do I did that. so many sympathy kegels during the pregnancies. You, they're so. good for everybody. I, I completely agree. Yes. Anyway. Okay, let's take a kegel break. No. Everybody. You can just do it while we're yeah, chatting. We're, we're, yeah. Am I just multitask? No, I'm so. saying listeners, you need to oh. do your kegels, <laughs> right, yeah. right? So if you don't know what kegels are, there'll be a link in the liner notes. <laughs> No, just kidding. I'm not no, doing that. No. <laughs> That'd be weird. People who don't listen to the episode too, they're like, why are they talking? Anyway. Moving on, what would you like to do with your turn? I'm going to head towards where the spider came at me from. Okay, yeah, I mean, the spider's right there in your face. Oh. If you want to move through its area of threat, it's going to get an attack of opportunity on you. Yeah, I'm going to have to stab this thing. Okay, so you're in a three foot by four foot little tight cubby, and you're going to whip out your... Right here. Are you sure? Well, how far away is this thing from me? It's not very far. It's closer than pages to me. Well, I can't shoot it because that would be no. I counter- definitely couldn't shoot it. That would be counterproductive. Yeah, so it would have to be my rapier. Is that the only other weapon you have? Yes. Really, you don't have a dagger or anything. I could try smacking it with my backpack. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait, hold on, I've got you. Have advantage on smacking it with your backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Okay, let's go. What would I add to? Uh, what, would I, uh, what would I add to it? <laughs> you're gonna add your strength modifier, and you know what? For shits and giggles, your proficiency bonus as well. Go for Sick. it. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. You've hit. <laughs> you got a nat twenty. Uh, Good job. Twenty four. Yeah, I love it. I think there's a rolled up newspaper in that backpack. Yeah. Watch out. I'm I'm so sad that he didn't like Prayers Market and Hunters Market oh. and get all those additional 
pluses to damage, but whatever. He's done it. You get 2d4 plus your strength modifier and damage to this thing. Ooh, big money. Eight damage. Wow. Your strength modifier is only plus one? It sure is. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> do you want to try to beat it again with your backpack? Because you do get two attacks. Yes, I do. All right, go for it. Did you get another nat 20? 19. Yeah, it's tons. Five damage. Okay, yeah, it looks a little hurt that you have hit it with a backpack. You basically smoosh the backpack at it and try to smash it down as best you can dexterously because you realize pulling your rapier out, like you don't even have the angle to get the rapier out in this tiny little space. I thought you might have a dagger. Could have pulled an arrow and like stab it with an arrow. Anyway, so the spider creels and all of you hear a... No, that's not a spider. <laughs> Sound echo down through the tunnel. Penny, it almost startles you off of the rope. Oh, <laughs> oh dear. All my sounds today <laughs> are just great. I yep. love them. You hear dimly the sounds of conflict. The spider, because that's what it is, has moved off of you suddenly after it has bit you two more times, three more times, three more times. You have taken 21 additional points of damage. Do you have any hit points left? Okay, you're all right then. How many hit points do you have left? I have 12. Yeah, let's just round that and say you have five hit points left. (laughs) What? <laughs> Sounds good. I and mean, what's the difference really between 12 and 5? I love how 12 rounds into 5 yeah. so easily. <laughs> it's just 5. 5 hit points left. Basically what I'm saying is if the spider had bit you one more time, you would be dead. But that's just how slow everybody was in responding. If Texas had not rushed up around Florida man, I you would you, Anyway, all of my foretelling would have come to pass in that moment, but it didn't. Let's round from 12 to 5. <laughs> yeah, that's it's not even did. a thing. <laughs> yeah, it's a real thing. It's a Twelve thing. to ten makes more sense. No, 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 no. We're rounding by sevens because I was like, make sure you get down to one more bite would have killed you. <laughs> that seems fair. Yeah. Now you know for a fact one more bite would have killed you. If I'd said twelve and I would like one more bite would have killed you, you'd have been like, would it though? You know, just seven points of damage, and I had twelve hit points. Am I really that badly off? No, you are. Okay. I think this is why I struggled so much in math with the <laughs> logic that I'm seeing happen. It's right delightful. Here. <laughs> well, friends. <laughs> It's a spider's turn. It's going to try to bite you. Yeah. It fails to do so. On your turn, you smash it twice and kill it. Nice. Because it is a challenge one creature, and it was just there to hurt the party if possible and make maybe make you spend some spell slots and movement. Maybe somebody's going to cast Expeditious Retreat, try to save somebody. Anyway. What is that? Hmm? Expeditious Retreat. It's a spell. You can look it yep. up. All right. What? It's a runaway Who spell. Tons of people. Bards have the ability to access Expeditious Retreat if they wanted to cast it. Wizards have Expeditious Retreat. Sorcerers have Expeditious Retreat if they want to. That's not there. You're a cleric. You don't get it. You don't get it. Oh, All right. You just don't understand. So. so that made me sad. <laughs> you kill the spider. It falls down dead. <laughs> what do you say? I was never a fan of spiders where I came from. Do Penny and I have to dodge out of the way of this falling spider? The spider is not falling. The spider is oh. in the other tunnel. Oh, it's in the it's, tunnel. Okay. Yeah, he, he would literally have to yeet it behind him somehow. <laughs> and he's, it's a three foot by four foot little hole. Okay, good. That's not, it's not easy to <laughs> yeet a large spider through that hole. Go on, Nonetheless, yeah. let's just line out everything here. Florida man is on some pitons. At this point, Alabama is now standing on the immovable rod and Penny is hanging out feet and stubby tail, hanging out of the tunnel hole, and you're just below the immovable rod. Okay. It's like, as soon as we all can get off the immovable rod, we can move the immovable rod up, right? So, Maryland, Jane, are you okay? Dead silence. Where's Maryland, Jane? There was a spider. <laughs> Supposedly. <laughs> According to Texas. I'm going to continue around the corpse of the spider because I, sure, yeah. I, I assume you, there's a pathway that I can keep You smooshed there. it good. You get ugly spider yeah. fur and guts and Ugh. goo all over you. The spider twitches at one point while you're trying to climb over and its mandible digs into your boot. I hit it with the backpack. You hit it again <laughs> several more times. <laughs> thunk, 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 thunk. This little tunnel curls to the left, little dog leg to the left, and tucked in the back is all, and there's all this webbing all around you too, makes it kind of sticky and hard to move through. And you make your way into this little area here, and you can see the remained husks 
of of cocooned sacks that have been like drained and sucked free and you see a unmoving solitary sack that is still human shaped in size hanging because the area is opened up a little bit hanging from a single thread bleeding profusely from several punctures as it looks like the spider has bit whatever it was a couple more times to inject venom into it to tenderize the meat. How high is it off the ground? Half a foot. I'm gonna cut. Uh, I'm gonna cut the webbing at the top. Sure. It lands with a terrible thud on the ground, and it's so tight this cocoon because you're supposed to dissolve in the cocoon, and then the spider would just drink you. So you can't really breathe either any longer. But guess what? You're air genasi, and you don't care. Yeah, it lands with a thud, sickening, loud, crunching sound flops over i assume i can't cut it open with the rapier i'll have to use like an arrowhead yeah i think you'd have to use i mean both of those are piercing weapons you could use your rapier it's just going to take time and you don't want to hurt whatever's inside yeah i guess i'll do that carefully sure (laughs) you see maryland jane's bag and her sword are on the ground near this area as well you have short swords right she has her big long sword yeah i've got a long sword. Oh, wait. I also have... Oh, I had a dagger. Who did I give that to? I gave it to somebody. Anyway, she's got a big... Her, her big long sword. Doesn't matter. You you gingerly, patiently, quietly take the time to cut Maryland out without hurting her. Correct? Yes. All right. You freed Maryland. It's been about um, a, a minute or so later, and the paralysis starts to wear off. Howdy. How? Oh, hi. I hate spiders. <laughs> As do I, but he ain't going to be bothering us no more. And then I cast Healing Spirit, and the peacock appears. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> and then we heal each other. All right, you get a D6 of hit points. As do I. Yeah. <laughs> I get one. Right, the peacock gives you a dirty look, and it's like, and struts away. And there you are. Good thing I have now another second level spell slot. Maryland, you're free from all the webbing. I pick the sticky strings off of me. Okay. Gross. And I pick up my backpack. I can't levitate anymore, can I? No. Damn it. Oh, but I have pitons too. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm going to poke my head out and look down. You have to make your way beyond this spider. Yeah. This goo and Gross goo. leaking <sighs> fluids. Oh, before I leave, thing. is there any cool shit kind of in this little layer from other things? It's- sure. You can make an investigation check. 20. You find a whole bunch of gore and horror and terrible sludge and an egg sack. Make a nature check. Nat 20. Yeah, that looks really close to hatching. I'm going to squish it. (laughs) You got a nat 20, so I'm going to be kind. (laughs) And if you had done that, you would immediately be covered in tiny little baby spiders that will be able to grow to large spiders very soon. You knew that because you rolled in that 20 and yeah. nature check. Yeah, Can yeah, yeah. I <laughs> fire You raise bullet? your foot high and then you're like, hmm, wait. <laughs> so you can fire bolt it. That's yeah, not that's, fireball. Yeah, fire bolt it. Fire bolt may do something similar as well. What? Oh, shouldn't it incinerate all the Oh, you spiders? would kill some of those spiders for sure, but you only do all. like 1d8 damage. And that's not going to burn a whole nest of baby spiders about to erupt. Okay, we should go. These are spiders. Let's 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 go now. Is that the level of uh, fear in your voice when you say that? That is or? pretty fearful for okay. Mary. Yeah, I know. I'm just making sure that that was just, con- just <laughs> I do not like right? spiders. They are the things of nightmares. Okay, so that is true. That is fair. You've hung out with Maryland Jane enough. You have detected the note of urgent freak out fear that was just evident in the voice we all know in game. Maryland is freaked out. She doesn't have heightened emotions. I know, exactly. <laughs> so we vamoose. Out of the, out of the hole. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, um, yeah, no. Tex makes his way out of the hole. Then Maryland makes her way out of the hole. And now you're all crowded in kind of the same area as Florida Man. Happily, patiently, hammer, piton, tink, tink, tink. <laughs> climbing up, hooking another rope hooking loop around. Rope. Yeah. Tink, tink, tink. You Good. see, hey, there's a ledge. With a whole little area to go off to one side. You see Tex and Maryland start to work their way out of it. What was that? I say to them. Spiders. Oh, not a good time. So, let's go up. Okay, let's continue on. 
Anybody else have any pitons? I'm running out. <laughs> I reach in my bag and I'm like, will this do? And I hand her 10. Yes. I'm going to continue to piton up. Where did everybody get all these pitons from? They're yeah. in our backpacks. In my explorer's bag. Oh, yeah. Shit. My yeah, you didn't get an explorer's. I didn't no. Either. No yeah. pitons. I have a dungeoneer it, kit. It's when it's when people choose the scholar's bag that they're like, I can't do shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So you have used seven pitons already okay. to get where you are, and then it's another six pitons to get to this whatever it is at the end of this tunnel that you're working your way up. Somewhere but you do so end of the tunnel. I use my pitons. That's my job. <laughs> I sing terrible songs. That's my job. You do your thing, which is bossness. <laughs> I like your song more than Penny's. Here you go. <gasps> Ooh. You never give me white for my songs. That's rude. I, that came out of nowhere. It was just you guys said it was like somewhere. I, was like, I oh. see how it is. You get to the top. I don't care about checks at this point. <laughs> Everyone has failed them and you'll fail them otherwise. You realize through some reason or other, probably because it's an hour into the session already, that there is a pewter cap on the top of this tunnel and it is sealed in or whatever. And you probably you have to figure out some way of getting this cap off of this tunnel. Anybody do force damage with magic? Nope, but I'm going to look and see if I can find any latches or hinges. Can't you use a wind thing or a twisty thing? I can. I can. Thunder wave. <laughs> I was going to like, you guys like thunder wave, right? That always <laughs> works out really well. We talked about this already. I know. <laughs> I can do force damage. Just throwing that out there. Ooh. What can you do? I can do Zephyr Strike. It does 1d8 force damage. Force In force addition damage. to his arrow damage. No, it doesn't have to be arrow. Yeah. But you could shoot an arrow at it and do Zephyr force? Strike is part of your attack. Yeah, and I can also use my rapier for it. It well, just says adva- advantage piercing on- piercing damage. Yeah, but it's still force damage. <laughs> it's I got it to pull. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> spiders. Okay, hey, spiders. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, can you do like one of the, the corners maybe or the edges and then maybe the force damage will can like we- pop it open? Maybe. Hammer pitons along in, like the top Ooh. in a circle so we can all stand and push at the same time. Or put a piton in it and then he hits it with an arrow with the force damage and it'll be like, boom. Sorry. That sounds great. You do that. All your pitons are gone. Your arrow is gone. You've used your Zephyr Strike. <laughs> yeah, arrow is definitely destroyed in that action. Did it open it up? No. I assume by how he said that, I'm going to go with no. Boom. Whatever this pewter cap has been, it's popped off. Oh, nice. knocked to one side. I'm gonna poke my head up and sure. see if anything is gonna kill us. Do you think you're at the top now, or is it? I am. Okay, actually, yeah. I feel like me being with only nine hit points, I, I mean, should I'd probably be fine not be if at that's the top. what you wanted to do. Like, but I know because Chelsea just has to be first. So, like, well, I mean, I'm the rogue. I, I usually I check love for the traps. Fact that you're <laughs> leading the way. <laughs> I check for the me, traps I'm, and then I trigger the traps. I am. I am climbing. I I assume Florida man had a summer as a climbing guide at some point that this is my excuse for having all these skills okay wouldn't i be at the top because i had to shoot my arrow at the thing no you can shoot your arrow from below it's a range through us like around and like through you guys i mean i'm doing the pitons kind of in a swirl so this room is small (laughs) and plainly decorated (laughs) on the north and south sides are so to your left and right are fountains made of bronze inlaid marble. The one to your right is cracked and only dry, limey deposits remain within it. The northern one to your left contains about two feet of dark water where pirates roam, fed by a trickle that falls from the top of the fountain. In the water, a white, gauzy form of a crayfish lies on a bed of lime and crustaceans. Directly away from you, stairs lead up out of the room, and to either side of the stairs, along the west wall, are narrow, dust-covered ledges. Tex, you climb out of the well after Florida Man and Maryland Jane Dew, and both of you help the weak and wimpy Penny and Alabama finally out. You're standing in this Who has the immovable rod? Who picked it up? Ooh, yeah, wow. nobody had collected I, it. I did say that you we wanted to. You did say you wanted to. It's true. 
So Whoever nope. was last, probably. Sorry. So one of you climbs back down and collects the rod while everybody else waits quietly and patiently, and then you climb back up with said rod. Who is doing so? Really? <laughs> no. I was sure. Oh, idiot is? Okay. I was I love the last it. one Make up. an athletics check. Uh-oh. I'm just like, I felt responsible because I was the last one up, so I should I have grabbed it. Oh, no. I just, you know that this is not your forte. And it's yeah. a tight yeah. place. It's I okay. Can do it. Penny starts climbing down. Yeah, you can stop me if you'd like to. Pet. Nope. <laughs> Make your no. roll. You guys are all mad at me. Uh, Maryland goes to stop her. Okay. <laughs> Penny, no wait. Ah, uh, crap. I'm not. Ha ha. Sixteen. Yeah, that's enough. You climb down. You pick it up. You get it. If you had rolled a uh, eight or less, you would have fallen. And if you rolled a five or less, you would have fallen the whole way, and you would be dead. <laughs> Featherfall? <laughs> I know. I'm just that? yeah. I'd have to cast it before I hit the ground, though. Uh, you probably would. You'd be able to. This is fine. <laughs> Yet. I have to sing a whole song as I'm falling. Cool. You climb all the way down. You climb all the way back up. Wow. Sorry, I forgot. And I hand it Florida. It's not mine. I think it's mine. Was, oh, hers. Uh, I mean MJ. Here you go. <laughs> Thank you. She seems genuinely thankful. Yeah. <laughs> She always does. She always comes across genuine to me. My social skills are not good. Yeah, exactly. So, right. <laughs> you stand in a room, folks. I am going to look around the room. Two fountains. One has no water in it. One does have water in it. I'm going to go investigate the one with no water in it. Sure. What do you do? Is it one of those fountains that's like open and then there's a tower thingy in the middle? Yes. I am going to investigate the tower thingy. I'm going to get in the fountain. Okay. You climb into the fountain. Nothing. You no. Take a bath. What are you doing? You <laughs> I climb don't know. Into the fountain. Tell I me the things I, you do. I climb in the fountain and I'm looking around the little tower thingy and seeing if there's like any place where the water should be coming out and why it's not coming out. Oh, you want to know why the water's not working? Yeah. All right. Make some sort of architect test. Plumbing. Check. Plumbing check. <laughs> plumbing check. <laughs> you have no idea. You've never done anything like this before. This isn't your <laughs> skill set. You're not an engineer. <laughs> I'm not a water genie either. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's interesting. <laughs> maybe it's an air fountain and it is working so, so yeah so okay while penny's <laughs> down collecting the un- immovable rod maryland climbs into the, t- the fountain that's not working pats around a little bit <laughs> looks around the top and then says huh that's interesting i would like to go where the water is sure what are you gonna do i would first like to try to make sure it's normal water and then if it is normal water i would like to fill my flasks or my okay water yeah skins. How do you know if it's normal water or not? Well, I'm going to try it. You taste the water? Yeah. That's your plan? Yeah. That's how you determine if water's normal <laughs> yeah. or not? If I don't die, well, then it's drinkable. <laughs> True. Um, you're a cleric and you have the ability to do certain things. I don't know if you have them prepared or not. And you like, I don't want to cast really, spells. Do you really think I have those? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> really? I mean, preparing. <laughs> oh. Cure poison. Remove poison. It's not normal. Are I you think. saying it's poison? No, I'm no, 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 no. I just like that would. That's a thing that you would do. For I mean, I have purified, sure but I don't portable. actually have it because I never yeah, made it. So. I understand. Press the digitation to clean it. Nope, that would not. That would just it makes it work? sparkly. Oh, you get a sparkling Shiny, water. Not, not muddy. Anymore. I just want to make sure it's drinkable water so we can fill our water. Skins. How do you check to determine if something is drinkable water? I'm going to put my hands like this. Okay. I'm going to scoop my hands in. Awesome. And I'm going to scoop my, purring my hands to my face. Uh-oh. Yeah. I don't like that. <laughs> He's getting dice already. <laughs> like oh, no, I'm drinking a creature. <laughs> Pulling out the monster manual, folks. <laughs> also, can I get some healing? <laughs> Too late. Yeah. I've only got nine hit points. Everyone roll initiative. Oh, fuck. fuck. <laughs> I just wanted some water skin water. I know. But you don't test it with your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. Don't you put it in your mouth. <laughs> don't okay. you stuff it in your face. face. When you're on top of a mountain and you want to try the glacial water, what do you do? You scoop your hands and you try the water. I agree. In fact, that was a very fair. <laughs> you can have a white gel. Thank you. Being true to your have- dumb, dumb character. <laughs> oh, and you just right. moved my five to an 18. Excellent. Thanks. What is your, who got the best initiative? <laughs> Probably, I don't know. Not me. You're 18. I was joking. <laughs> no, that's hey, that's a DM fault. <laughs> he, he gave you better initiative. How did we do? No, you... <laughs> come on. Fifteen. Anybody beat a fifteen? No. Okay. Holy shit! Really? It's not good. You know who I am. All right. Who did second best? Thirteen. That sounds like second best. Yeah. Who did next best? Us. Really? We both got six. 
Oh, yeah. how sorry, did we guys. Do? Three Seven. sixes. Yeah, that's what I thought. How? Well, four plus three is. Uh, <laughs> how am I really Dang better it. than you guys? Suck luck it. Ran out, Aaron. So first round. Shit. You don't up. get to do anything because I'm at a it's a surprise. Fountain. Oh. But your reaction is now available to you. Okay. Just so you know, because you've had a turn. You just didn't get to do anything with your turn because you don't get an action. Got it. Penny. Mm-hmm. It's your turn, but you don't get to do anything. Yeah. You have no idea what's going on. I'm tired from climbing up the hole. Okay. And then this water-like form <laughs> as Alabama dips his hands into the fountain suddenly rushes up your arms. And at first, the first moment is like, oh, cool, because water is like moving up your arms. It, it feels really neat. You're like, oh, that's really neat. And then suddenly, it's not so neat anymore as it constricts and hauls you brutally towards it. I've seen this episode of DuckTales. <laughs> <laughs> what is your armor class? Yep. I have my shield out. Uh, no, you don't. Dang it. <laughs> 16. I'm going to drink with my shield, guys. That's yeah, what I was doing. That's what I did. I had my shield to scoop up the water. So it's a 16. All right. Uh, I got a 16. Fuck <laughs> off. I never take damage. This so you is take stupid. 13 bludgeoning damage. <laughs> it's not like you're a wizard. You'll be fine. <laughs> And you're hauled right into the fountain. You said 13? Uh, 13 bludgeoning damage. Oof. And you're hauled right into the fountain. Well, shit. It is now Texas's turn, which he doesn't get an action, but you're rea- the rest of you is free. Then Florida, man. Then Alabama. Alabama, make a constitution saving throw. Don't want to use any of them. <laughs> use one of uh, you use Allison's one of then. No, I haven't used you yet. 14. Okay, cool. So not drowning yet, but you are trapped and we're going to take it from there. Maryland Jane, it is now your turn at the top of the round. Water plus fire equals steam. Sure. Firebolt. <clears throat> Absolutely. Make an attack roll. Is this going to hurt me? Oof. And what do you say? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, no wonder it doesn't even go off then. You're like, oh, that's not the right words. And you miss. Right? But you're definitely going to miss, but you didn't even say the right words, so... Light a light a bitch on light a bitch. I look at my finger. I'm like, why isn't this thing working? You wave your hand back and forth, <laughs> trying to get it to spark. Like it does not work. Like your Zippo torch. You remember your your tinder box, and you're like, where did that torch go? Anyway, huh? Well, that was your turn, MJ. Anything else you want to do? Yes, I'm gonna go to the fountain. Okay. No, I'm not. That's a terrible idea. I don't want to be grabbed either. All right. I'm gonna stand back. And get ready. Ah, damn, I only have nine hit points. If I had full health, I would just go in there and pull her out. But I can't because I will die. Screw it. I'm going to just go and pull her out. I'm going to go to the fountain. Okay. You rush over to the fountain. Yeah. All right. Cool. You're there. I am going. No, to... that's it. That's your that's turn. That's it. Cool. Sounds good. You have a movement. You have an action. Yeah. That's... And just so you know, it's Kinnich. Let's light this bitch up. I know. I have it written down. Oh, okay. Right here. Nefrak. Light what? a bitch up. <laughs> Where's the B in the that? acronym no nafarak is the 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 word it's a short word it's in a different language it was olman for it's light a bitch up. yeah oh, okay but yeah. you have to say light, kinich, kinich. Yeah. light a bitch up yeah all right penny your turn can alabama hear me no alabama can't hear anything Damn. i wanted to inspire you be hard you to inspire water no remember sometimes. where you are where are you outside of the lake at uh, the other fountain no no i'm by the hole sorry where are I you re- well because i had to give her her rod so yeah. I had to go over to the... But thing. you haven't given it back to her yet because you went down and she went to explore. Yeah. You're on your way back up. Yeah. I'm not already out of the hole? I shake my head no. Oh, I'm... Because I'm weak. So you <laughs> freed yourself from the hole and you don't see Alabama. Okay. But I do see MJ. Yeah, you see MJ. So I'm going to inspire her. She's standing by a... Fountain. Fountain. You inspire her with a song. Get up, stand up, do some awesome things. You gotta get up, stand up, blow all them away. <laughs> That's all the reggae you're gonna get from me. <laughs> Cause your name is MJ. <laughs> oh, dang it. I gotta write that down. <laughs> and Cause you're an air genasi and you have lots of air. That's why you blow them away. Scooby doo boop bop boop beep bidet. Don't quit your day job. Yeah, I know. Hey, she's just terrible. <laughs> oh, were you talking to me? <laughs> Whoa. You know, I just throw, oh. I'm throwing you the die. You cool. Don't, that's not Still a D8 at, at level seven? Yeah. All right, cool. And what are you going to do with your regular action? I am going to go closer to MJ, as I'm saying, and heal her. 
to run over to MJ and you heal MJ. You put your hands all over MJ's body. Yeah. Sing these lovely words to MJ and then you say. So not singing or I'm just. Sure. Sorry. Well, you, you used your bardic inspiration and now you are going to cast a healing yeah. spell. So you said say it. I'm like, I sing it. Okay. Yeah. Ah. Well, you have to because you don't have any musical instruments. Yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Staying alive. Staying alive. At what level are you casting this spell? Third. That's not the third level version of that. Yeah, it is. First is like a surgeon, two is sexual healing, and three is staying alive. Cool, I love it. Yes, you corrected me. <laughs> I wrote it down. I love it. Very Unlike well other people, I write it down. Yes, good. <laughs> staying alive, and uh, you roll some hit points back, and that was your turn. The creature. Ooh, help as a bonus action. It's too Damn late. It. <laughs> but it's available if people wish to call on it. It's going to see you right next to it, not want you to get anywhere near Alabama, and it's going to smash you so a big globular fist of water suddenly appears and smashes you across the face. Can I uncanny dodge this or evasion? Oh, why? Because <laughs> it has to because hit. Because it has to hit. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. If it doesn't hit you, you don't If I miss, you. you don't care. You just dodge anyway. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I have a nat 20. Uncanny dodge? <laughs> I'm using my reaction to half the damage. Very good. So instead of taking 26 bashing damage, ah, you take 13 bashing damage and you're thrown to the ground. Oh, well, there goes all the healing. <laughs> We're going to die. It's a good so thing I hard. did it, I guess, so you didn't die. You're grappled. Ow. <laughs> This concludes this episode of Tavern Tales, a curated Dungeons & Dragons 5e game set in the Tales of the Yawning Portal Adventure module by Wizards of the Coast. Our intro and outro music is the song Tavern Tales by the Bad Billy Band. You can find out more about the Bad Billy Band on iTunes or at www.badbillyband.com or follow them on Twitter at Bad Billy Band. Thanks for listening. Please feel free to leave us a review on iTunes or find us on Twitter at Tavern underscore Tales. We'll be back next week with more of the adventure.